Hi there, I'm Wellen Kenning. Today I'm going to be talking about installing Open Access Manager Release 9 on Tomcat 6.0.26 on Windows 7. So first what I've done is I've pretty much just downloaded in advance the uh, Apache Tomcat 6.0.26 and Open a uh, Access Manager Release 9. And I've copied the, the folder in here uh, and I've just copied that to C colon slash tomcat slash bin. So what we need to do, first and foremost, is open startup.bat, so that's c colon slash tomcat slash bin slash startup.bat, and just add this line here, set catalina underscore ops equals, uh, and this value here. You can cut and paste that from my blog. If you do, you'll have to change these uh, quote marks, the speech marks, to just normal ones uh, on your keyboard, because otherwise tomcat will die. Uh, next thing you need to do is make sure you have the environmental variable set uh, on your system. So, just make sure you have the environment, uh, environmental variable set. JRE underscore home, pointing to your Java runtime environment, otherwise Tomcat will get quite upset. <clears throat> and now, so we've we've added uh, that the maximum memory for Tomcat is going to be one gigabyte in startup.bat. Open uh, c colon slash tomcat slash conf slash tomcat dash users dot xml, and just add from my blog once again um, the role this this role role name equals manager and user username is admin passwords admin and the role it applies to is manager. So that means we'll be able to run the manager application within Tomcat. And if everything's going according to plan, we should be able to go start up. In Tomcat, fingers crossed, should start. And it did. And we're looking for info colon server startup equals in, in, in X amount of time. <clears throat> now, in a new window, we should be able to go... So I've already set this up in my host file, that uh, sso.kenningcorp.com points to my local IP. And I know that Tomcat runs on port 8080. And you can see there, that's, that's great. So if we go to Tomcat Manager, it will ask for a username and password. We've already said what that username and password is, it's admin admin. And now we can deploy our war file. So the war file we want to deploy happens to be on the desktop. That's the Open Access Manager one. So it's in uh, OpenSSO folder, deployable war. It's OpenSSO.war. And then click deploy. And it will upload that uh, 80 megabyte war file. So I'll pause this and when we come back, it will be ready to deploy. Right, so once it's finished uploading, it will have deployed. And you can see it here, OpenSSO is deployed and uh, there's no sessions, but it's already started. So we can click on slash OpenSSO and fingers crossed, it will take us to the configuration options. I always go custom configuration. So now I create a password. So this one will be a creatively password. And then we go next. I just leave all these settings default, to be honest. Um, configuration store. So it's going to be an open SSO, and as the first instance, and this is just because I'm running it on my laptop. Same as by putting the open SSO user data store, um, putting the user data store in open SSO rather than in say Active Directory or a, a proper LDAP server. So it's not behind the load balancer. So I go no. This one will be the creatively password two. If I can spell password correctly. And now I click create configuration 
and it should configure if everything goes into plan. So some things I've had problems with, you know, I tried the nightly release of Open uh, AM and that failed on me. I tried the release of Tomcat that comes with XAMPP and that also failed on me. Um, I had set this sso.kenningcorp.com domain, the um, 127.0.0.1, and that failed on me. I actually had to set it to the IP address of the machine on the network, which in my case is 10.1.1.3. And I even tried, you know, putting localhost, so localhost uh, colon 8080, and that failed on me as well. So very specifically, I had to... As I said, in the hosts file, make sure it was sso.kenningcorp.com pointed to 10.1.1.3 and uh, using 6.0.26 of Tomcat and release 9 of openam slash openSSO. And you can see configuration complete. Proceed to the login. Theoretically, if I now put an AM admin and password... There you go. So, you know, I'm, I'm up and running. I've got OpenSSO, OpenSSO installed. Uh, and that's it. So, thank you very much.